Today we're not in Kurt's Corner, we're not even in Monster, we're actually in Thor Converters. An amazing place, and this is where a lot of magic happens. Actually, I'm mad, it's a lot of hard work. Today we're over with Danny in Thor Converters, and he's going to show us the benefits of hand brazing the turbine on a converter. All right, Danny, what do we got? Okay, what we have here is a turbine out of a Turbo 400 converter, actually. And the reason we hand braze them, the blades are loose. They loosen up over time. So when we remanufacture these converters, we want to make it better than the OEM did. OEM does not braze these converters. So in the aftermarket, we'll take and we'll reinforce all of these blades so they don't loosen up and cause problems with the transmission. So now you know why we have to braze the converters. Now we're going to show you how we do it. First of all, you have to light the torch. People like to see that big flame. I like to braise with kind of a neutral flame like this. What we use to braise the converter is silicon bronze. It's a alloy that requires no flux and it's easy to braise the converters up with. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you exactly the procedure, which is getting the metal red, blowing the bronze down. It happens pretty quick. Okay, I already braised three right up in that short amount of time. Quite a few blades in the converter and on this particular one, we braze every single blade. We braze all the bottom, and it's really uh, that simple. The converter gets pretty hot, so I actually use the rod to move it around, get to the next blade. Once I get all of the bottom ones done, then I'll move to the upper blades. The, the magic in doing this is keeping the torch moving all the time. You don't want to hold it in one spot because if you do, you'll burn right through the blades. Pretty much anybody can do this with a little bit of practice. I've been doing it a lot. Over 40 years, <laughs> that's uh, when I first started doing this, they were for Allison 240, 545 converters. and they were a little more severe than the normal turbo 400 basically the same turbine only a little heavier duty but what happened with that converter is they would rip this whole center right out all of this would rip right out so i started looking at it and i said well i gotta fix that and i tried different things and brazing all the blades up was pretty much the only thing that worked. You got to remember not to touch this. You know, it stays warm for quite a while. A lot of the smoke that you're looking at right now is all the oil in the pores of the turbine, the turbine hub, that comes out. Now we replace the turbine hub after everything is brazed up. We'll put a new one in. We'll put a heat treated turbine hub in to make the splines even stronger. And usually a lot of them are worn. So we'll replace that, that's riveted in. We, we actually rivet it and then we'll braze it also in several spots. There we go. That's the whole bottom line 
coming up. All braised up. It smells pretty good too. <laughs> Not really. Then once I get all of these braised in, then I'll go to the the upper blades. And the upper blades are a little bit different. I'll get the bronze in the corner and then I'll go in a circular motion and I'll walk it right down. You can see that bluish flame, greenish flame. Well, different converters, I don't know, depending on maybe the oil or the what's in the oil. On some converters, you get different colors. It's kind of crazy, but see how quick we do this. Keep it going in a circular motion, walk it right down. The silicon bronze is amazing stuff. No flux required. You can just follow it right down and really tightens all them blades up. They got no, no chance of moving after you braise them. They're, I'll braise actually the inside and the outside. Thank you very much, Danny, for all your instructions today and all your good work. If you have any questions, give us a call at Monster 1-800-708-0087. We'll talk to you then.